This news story was produced by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. It's been said one must look to the past to see the future, and that certainly applies in terms of the Pokemon series. The 20th anniversary of Pokemon Red and Blue for the Game Boy handheld system is being celebrated. It wasn't necessarily praised for its 8-bit graphics, yet it's engrossing gameplay. That's what's making Pokemon Go such a catch. It's called Augmented Reality Gaming. A smartphone's global positioning system is paired with a digital camera, and it's a match made in heaven. There we go. So with the augmented reality, it makes the phone work a little bit harder. Since the Pokemon Go release in the United States, Australia, and New Zealand, Nintendo has seen its market value rise $9 billion. Pokemon trainers have caught Pokemon fever once again as they submerse themselves in a digital world, and the digital world submerses itself in the real world. Local gamer Justin Sweet was just three years old when the red and blue Pokemon games were first released in Japan. Although Pokemon Go has yet to be officially released in Canada, he has a version downloaded to his Android phone, and he gave me a tour in Thompson Park. Right now, I'm trying to track Venonat. I don't know where it is. It's in the area somewhere. We had it over there, over by the field, so we lost it in this parking lot. So we're going to head back into the field, we're going to see if we can find it. It's a lot of fun, surprisingly. I didn't think I would have a lot of fun playing a mobile game, just because I'm so used to a console game, a PC game, anything like that, but the mobile game has been a really good experience. As Sweet explains, physical activity is required. So far I've walked about 10 kilometers. Um, this is since the games came out three, four days ago. Um, just finding Pokemon, checking into Pokestops, finding gyms, getting items, stuff like that. With gamers staring down at the screen walking around, safety could be put into question. The Ontario Provincial Police is warning gamers to keep safety in mind when they attempt to catch them all. Any time that your attention is taken away from walking, cycling or driving, it can be potentially very dangerous. So we urge you to keep your head up, keep your eyes up and be aware of what's going on around you. Distraction isn't the only concern. When that GPS function is activated on your phone, it's very easy for someone to track you, to follow you, and you wouldn't even know that it's happening. So we urge parents to be very mindful of this when you're allowing your children to use apps such as this. Gamers of all ages are encouraged to keep safety a priority. The message is not lost on Sweet. Use your head when you're playing the game. You know, if you see a lure at a, at a stop that doesn't necessarily look to be the safest, maybe don't go there. Um, travel with a group, play with all your friends. It's a great way to just get your buddies outside and just go for a walk and just have fun. The worldwide release date for Pokemon Go has yet to be announced. For Kojiko North Bay News, I'm Clark Heipel. If you are interested in watching Kojiko North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.